Hi there, foodies. Welcome back to our channel, where we dig deep into the fascinating world of food. Today's topic is a bit unconventional and intriguing. Bug blood and how it's used to give color to our food. Yup, you heard it right. Let's uncover this colorful secret together. All right, so have you ever wondered what makes your favorite food so vibrant and eye-catching? Many times, it's not just your typical food coloring. It could be coming from a rather unexpected source. Insect blood? Let's explore this intriguing topic and unravel the story behind bug blood in our food. So, let's dive into the juicy details. Cochineal beetles and scale insects are like the rock stars of the insect world, flaunting a vibrant red dye right in their bloodstream. This dye is commonly known as carmine or cochineal extract. Imagine that bug blood making our food pop with a vivid red hue. And get this, folks, it's not some modern food fad. Nope, it's been rocking the food scene for centuries, giving that oomph to all sorts of foods and drinks. I mean, who would have thought our little insect buddies had such a colorful secret, right? Picture this, way back in the day, the Aztecs and Mayans were the OG trendsetters, using cochineal insects for spicing up not just their foods, but also their fabrics. Yup, you heard it right, fashion and food brought to you by Bug Blood. Fast forward to when the European explorers stepped onto the scene and discovered this vibrant dye. It was like finding the treasure of the color spectrum. Suddenly, cochineal extract became the hottest commodity, and everyone wanted a piece of that colorful action. Talk about a bug-inspired fashion revolution. Now, zoom into today's food scene, and bug blood is still taking the stage. You'll find it spicing up a whole buffet of goodies. Imagine yogurt, candies, beverages, and even adding a pop of color to your favorite cosmetics. Bugs have become the unsung heroes of the color palette. But, and here's the plot twist, as we've become more health conscious and aware of allergies, some companies are waving goodbye to bug blood and saying hello to plant-powered alternatives. It's like a revolution on our plates. Beet juice, berry extracts, turmeric, you name it. We're shifting towards these natural insect-free options to keep both our taste buds and health in check. Now, let's get down to the nitty gritty of bug blood production for our food. Picture this, first, the insects, like cochineal beetles or scale insects, are carefully harvested from their cozy homes. Then, they're sun-dried or heated to remove the moisture. After that, it's crunch time. They're crushed to bits, revealing that rich, vivid red pigment hiding in their tiny bodies. But let me tell you, this isn't a walk in the park. It's a labor-intensive process that demands patience and precision. It's like turning bugs into art. Once we've got that precious dye extracted, it's handled with care, almost like a chef adding the secret sauce to a masterpiece. The dye is blended into various food products, ensuring that irresistible, eye-catching color we all love. It's like magic for your taste buds and your eyes. Okay, time to unleash your inner food detective. When it comes to being a savvy consumer, checking those food labels is your superhero move. See, cochineal extract or carmine might sneakily make their way into the ingredient list of many products. But hey, we've got the power of awareness. By scanning those labels, you become a pro at identifying these insect-derived colorants. That knowledge is gold. It's like having the ultimate food decoder ring. Armed with this info, you're in control of what you put into your body. It's all about making conscious choices and being the boss of your own plate. Stay informed, stay empowered. The future of food coloring is exciting and promising. With advancements in technology and growing concerns about sustainability, we're seeing a shift towards more eco-friendly and natural colorants. Who knows, maybe we'll have more innovative insect-free options that still dazzle our taste buds and eyes. And that's a wrap, foodies. We hope you enjoyed this colorful journey into the world of bug blood and food coloring. If you like this video, Hit that like button, subscribe, and share it with your fellow food enthusiasts. 
Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the fascinating world of food.